hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use a Droyo for creating uml diagrams let's begin creating uml diagrams in Droyo is a simple process all you have to do is go to the website and then click the start button what will happen is you would be forwarded to this page wherein you can choose to save your diagrams to cloud storage options such as Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, GitHub, or GitLab, or to your local computer, which is going to be the device. If you click on the decide later, what will happen is you will be forwarded here in this page wherein all I have to do is if you have a client who has already a UML diagram ready, but you just have to edit it, click on the open existing diagram. But if you want to create from scratch, just click the create new diagram button you will be forwarded to this section all right now from here it's relatively easy because you have already at the bottom here if you go to the smart template you might want to choose something like you see there is a uml kind of diagram that you can begin your work with all right you see I have all this like eight of them you can start from here or if you go to the basic template, say for example, I type in and then on the diagram type, all right, there isn't like a new ML, but I have put in here a new ML diagram to specifically generate such kind of template all right what will happen is it would be forwarded to this section if you want this just click the create button now what will happen is it would be forwarded to this kind of diagram we're in i want you to go to the upper right corner and click the option that says full screen so you have an access to the format panel the format panel is the right side here see this one if you don't see the format panel go to the view section click the format panel or click this icon because this is particularly important when you try to stylize your elements here along the way and of course you have the access to the tool you have the uh, shapes general miscellaneous advanced and uml now if you select the uml diagram shapes right here you would notice that you have a kind of essentials that you might want to use to elaborate more of your diagram i'm gonna press the uh, control minus so we can like um add more information here so i'm gonna hover to the file i'm gonna import another image from my device i'm gonna resize it so that it can fit to our diagram right and then from here i can add more elements along the way for example i'm gonna add this actor the actor is matter of fact will be named as see if there's gonna be a, like a like a tweak icon I can edit that text right here I'm gonna rename it as deep laughs And then I'm going to change the font style so you guys can see it. So, there we go. Now, I'm going to add more interactivity here for the UML. Triagrams. Select more shapes if you want. And then... You would notice when adding UML elements here, you will now see various UML elements like classes, use cases, associations, inheritance, generalization, and a lot more. And again, again you can drag and drop these into the drawing canvas. For example, like classes here, if you want, you can put in an arrow that you wanted, kind of like this. And of course, you can also customize your diagram resize and modify, for example, this if you want to select a different color you can also do that maybe like a light orange you see 
how it's uh been connected and of course from here you can put in connector type in connector and press enter you can use different arrows and lines to connect all of them for example i'm going to be choosing this this is part of this right and this one is sort of like part of this um just move the uh endpoints accordingly for example we'll pull this and you can add text and labels here for example i'm going to add a text press enter maybe something like a variable text now the vari variable text we can put in a different color maybe an orange for this one again you can put in the height You can increase all of them. You can fill. For example, light orange and turn down the opacity. All right, so you can have all these at once when creating UML. Put in some gradient if you want, a line if you want it. For example, I'm going to be choosing this as the line. And the line can, can be increased as well. So these are highly customizable. Now, when you are happy creating and satisfied with the UML that you have created, you might want to go to the upper right corner, click the save. But normally, draw you automatically saves your work. But it pays to check. Just click the save button. Now, after saving, you have the option to save and export your diagram. By clicking on the file, go to the export button. You can save this UML diagram from various file formats such as PNG, JPEG, WebP, SVG, PDF, VSDX, HTML, XML, URL, and Advanced. If you click on the PNG, you might want to make sure that you choose the uh, zoom percent. For example, I'm going to put in 6 69. Border width is going to be 6.9. You also have an option to click the diagram or is it going to be the whole page? You can also choose the transparent back, background or is it going to be light or dark? Or if you want to add shadow and grid. If you do that, click on export. While doing so, you will be asked again, where do you want to save this? Is it going to be your storage options such as these? Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, GitHub or GitLab. And if you want to save it to your local computer, you can click the download button. All right. So um, for now, I'm going to click on my drive or Google Drive. After saving it to my storage options, you can also have an option to publish this as a feature link. What will happen is you will be given a link where you can embed to your website. If you're using a website powered by Squarespace, WordPress, you can copy that link and um, embed it. You also have an option while at it to print this if you are going for a meeting and you wanted to present this as a hard copy to your client or your team members you might want to click on the print option all right so you can do all of these and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one